G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So my fastest 3x3 Rubik's Cube timing competition is currently 8.08 .08 seconds, which I got at a random competition at the start of this year. Really lucky scramble, and I've already shown how I got that solved. I average around 10, 11 seconds, so anything under 10 seconds, I'm pretty happy with. And just recently, I was at a competition where I got another eight second time. This is my third ever eight second time, but I think this one's the most interesting. I used this cube right here. This is the ball core YS3M. It's so good, man. You gotta get it. I've used this to break like every one of my records. It's just perfect. You can get it from Speedcube Shop using my code to make it even cheaper. Just saying. But yeah, I was at a competition in Perth just randomly because of course. And I managed to get an 8.51 second time. And it was really unexpected because... <laughs> Damn. As you can see on my face, I wasn't ready for this skip. And I'll explain why in a second, because I did some really weird stuff at the start that I don't think anyone else would have done. There was a really obvious cross, but I decided to go with a different route. And this was on white cross, so if you're a beginner, you can still follow along. And hopefully you could learn some things as well. Yeah, let me show you what I did. So as you can see on white, it's already a pretty good scramble. We've got the white cross piece here. We've got this green and this red. It could just go in in two moves and then we've got orange here so what i actually did to start with i held green on front and inserted the green edge and the red edge first just like this and then what i could have done is i could have put this one in just something like that but what i actually noticed instead is that there was this sort of really weird bad pair made here with this corner and this edge with the green and red that as soon as I put these two edges in, I could put that straight in, which I don't know why I decided to do it like this, which is one of the weird things that happened in this solve, but we'll get to it. So I inserted these two and instantly put this pair, pulled it out like that. I then inserted this pair, the only way I know, which is like this, which is quite long, but you can do it pretty fast. So there's a few ways you could do this pair. You can do it like this, which pairs them up like that, or you can do it like this, which I inserted like this. So I went like that. And then when I go to pair it up here, this will go straight in. And I saw that the white and orange edge piece was here. So then I could just insert it like this, which is a bit of a free fop move. That means that we've got this whole block here this cross piece and then we've just got the orange and blue and the red and blue that means we've just got the orange blue and red blue pieces left which i did orange and blue first so i went like this inserted it there which gave me quite a nice setup to this pair here which i rotated this way inserted this in the front and this is another bit that is kind of embarrassing I don't know this OLL case there you know I don't actually know some of the dot cases because they don't come up very much and always when I get a dot case I instantly just do this and hope for something better which in this case I did get something better because if I rotate like this setting up where I just do uh, F prime sexy sexy F prime like this it skips the entire thing. No AUF, no anything. And I wasn't ready for that because this is extremely hard to recognize. This, there's no bars or anything like that. And it doesn't look like it would solve by just doing a couple of moves. So I did this, solved it in like 7.9 seconds. And it took me about half a second to realize that it was actually solved. There you go, 8.51 seconds. Looking back on it, a more normal way I could have done it is inserting these two in here and then just going like that and inserting the orange. And then there's actually some nice pairs that form. There's like this one, and then there's this one, which I could insert in the back. Do something like this. And I don't know. I could have got a nice uh, solve on that as well, but it wouldn't have been an eight second time. All right, pretty cool. I'm gonna try a down solve now. So yeah, really weird solve. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse if I did something slightly different. But I just found this one really cool. I have a full video on my Perth competition coming up soon. But I thought I'd just share this one because it was pretty fun. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.